Alright, I want to make something clear right now. I enjoy Fallout 4. It's not a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. People who say, it sucks, it's garbage, it's terrible, I think they're being a little hyperbolic. I certainly don't agree with the statement that Fallout 4 is a bad game. I was, however, really, really disappointed and very, very surprised that Fallout 4 somehow managed to be the DICE Awards Game of the Year. Quite frankly, that's some bullshit. The nominees besides Fallout 4 were Bloodborne, Ori in the Blind Forest, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Let it be known that I have not played most of these games, in fact the only two that I have played on this list are Fallout 4 and The Witcher 3. And seeing as The Witcher 3 should have won, that's the only game I needed to have played. Before I start talking about just how bullshit this decision was on their part, I think it's important to go through the whole list of the different categories, the nominations, and the winners of each. I think that'll put things into perspective in an odd way. Game of the Year, Fallout 4. Outstanding Achievement in Game Design, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Outstanding Achievement in Online Gameplay, Rocket League. Handheld Game of the Year, Helldivers. Strategy Simulation Game of the Year, Heroes of the Storm. Sports Game of the Year, Rocket League. Role-playing, Massively Multiplayer Game of the Year, Fallout 4, I guess, that one. Uh, Racing Game of the Year, Forza Motorsport 6. Fighting Game of the Year, Mortal Kombat X. Family Game of the Year, Super Mario Maker. Outstanding Technical Achievement, The Witcher 3. Outstanding Achievement in Story, The Witcher 3. Outstanding Achievement in Sound Design, Star Wars Battlefront. Outstanding Achievement in Original Music Composition, Ori in the Blind Forest. But damn, it must have had a really good set of music if it beat out The Witcher 3. Outstanding Achievement in Art Direction, Ori in the Blind Forest. Outstanding Achievement in Animation, Ori in the Blind Forest. Dice Sprite Award, Rocket League. Mobile Game of the Year, Fallout Shelter. Action Game of the Year, Star Wars, Wars ba Battle, really? The um, Adventure Game of the Year, Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain, and Outstanding Achievement in Game Direct, Fallout 4? Alright, alright, look, I know this is subjective, and I know that everyone's entitled to their opinion, regardless of how stupid it might be. And while most of these are pretty reasonable, some of these legitimately make me scratch my head and wonder what they were thinking. I mean, you have Fallout 4, which wins the overall game of the year, and in addition to that, it won role-playing game of the year, Fallout 4, the game that almost universally was criticized for its lack of RPG elements in super oversimplification, it won the role-playing game of the year. I have no idea. And I don't even. I mean, what the fuck? I am genuinely curious about this. Let's go back and take a look at who the nominees were. Alright, Bloodborne, Pillars of Eternity, The Witcher 3, and Undertale. And Fallout 4 was considered the best RPG of them all. I mean, sure, we completely got rid of basically all checks and speech. Sure, I get we got rid of traits entirely. Sure, we took away skills entirely. But... That's okay, because at DICE, we consider this shadow of Fallout's former self to be worthy of it being the RPG of the year. And that's just talking from the traditional RPG perspective, you know, with skill points and customizing your character. Now, if we talk into the actual role in role-playing game, it's just as bad, but I'll leave that to my Fallout 4 review. That shit's, like, gonna be fucking two hours long. I'm gonna shit on Fallout 4. Where it deserves it. The next thing that Fallout 4 won was Outstanding Achievement in Game Direction. But if you ask me, after 111 or so hours in this game so far, I would assume that this game has no direction at all. In fact, one of the reasons Fallout 4 is not a bad game and one of the reasons that it was so good in the past is because it lacked direction in a lot of ways. It was just this long and slightly confusing mass of different things that came together to make an excellent experience. 
But hey, I guess they thought it had better game direction than The Witcher 3, so I guess there's that. I don't even know if they played The Witcher 3 at this point. So, what else did Fallout 4 win? Oh, that's right, nothing. That was it. I guess based on those two things and a bit of magical fairy dust, Fallout 4 somehow became the game of the year. Which is weird because all across the internet, pretty much everyone seems to be saying, that's some bullshit, how come... CD Projekt Red's masterpiece didn't trump it. And that's a pretty good goddamn question. I mean, what did The Witcher 3 win of these? Alright, so The Witcher 3 won the Outstanding Technical Achievement Award, Outstanding Achievement in Story, and the Outstanding Achievement in Game Design Awards. And yet, despite all of this, it still lost to Fallout 4 enough to have Fallout 4 be Game of the Year? When I look back at my 111 plus hours of Fallout 4, I scratch my head and I ask myself, what was it about that game that someone could have considered to be the great, superior, amazing asset that it had that launched it past The Witcher 3? And I got nothing. If I was going to guess at something, it would be how cool the Commonwealth was. And in all 100% and total fairness, because a liar I am not, Fallout 4 had a fucking amazing wasteland to do stuff in. The Commonwealth was amazing. I loved it. Even from the brightest of the sunny beaches to the times when it just looked downright grim and awful. But despite all that, despite how much I loved it, not even that was superior to The Witcher 3. And that game was... that game was fucking art. So if it's not what I liked the most about Fallout 4, what could it be? I mean, clearly they thought that it was the better RPG because reasons. Maybe they thought it was combat, but then why didn't a straight-up shooter win? Uh, well, maybe they thought it had the better dialogue. <laughs> just, just kidding, no. Maybe they thought it had better characters? Oh fuck no, it didn't have better characters. Maybe it had better... Um... Relationships? No, no, that couldn't possibly be- no, it couldn't be that. Maybe it had better quests? The hell no, it didn't have better quests. Well, maybe it had a better story! <laughs> no, 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 not even close. The only things that I could really think about that maybe Fallout 4 could be seen as doing better than Witcher 3 is the combat, and maybe... Mm, no, that's it, just the combat. And while I preferred playing Witcher 3 to actually playing Fallout 4, because I just felt like the Witcher 3's combat was much more involved, and it required more of me, and I had to do things like pay attention. But if, if you like shooting stuff more than The Witcher 3 swordplay and magic, that, that's fine. That, that's totally fine. You could prefer that. But I, I still think that The Witcher 3's was better. However, there is one thing about the fact that Fallout 4 got Game of the Year and RPG of the Year that really kind of makes me cringe a bit. Fallout 4 cut out, not sacrificed because they weren't lost for the benefit of something else, Fallout 4 lost and was stripped away of a lot of the things that made it great, those RPG elements. So for this game to be lauded by this kind of an organization and in this kind of an award schmegagel here, I, I worry that it will make Fallout's in the future even less focused on the RPG elements that made it great. I don't want Bethesda to look at this as a victory in the sense of, oh, well clearly we're on the right track, this is what people want. Maybe they think that, and I'm sure some people do want it, but I still believe the vast majority of people don't want this simplified and dumbed-down version of something that they grew to love because it had a level of complexity to it. Overall, I think that, without a doubt, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt was hands down the game of the year. I think that it soundly beats Fallout 4 in basically every single aspect. Period. Across the board. I mean, damn, son. Even though I'm displeased with this outcome for the Dice Awards, I think that, for the most part, generally it's accepted that The Witcher 3 is the game of the year. And I think that's excellent, because I want to see more games like this done in the future. And I want CD Projekt Red to keep up the amazing work. And, you know, maybe Bethesda, as good as Fallout 4 was, they can get their shit together for Fallout 5. That's okay. Please.
This is the end of the video, by the way. There, there's no more. There, there's nothing after this. This is it. it this is the end. I lied. Here's some Witcher boobs.